Kumusta ka mo? Hi, it's Victoria. In today's video, we are going to try out these Carla Cosmetics eyeshadows. Um, I really, really love the dual combs of these. I'll be using Carla Cosmetics eyeshadows to recreate some of the looks in her Instagram page. Also, some of the looks of makeup artists that I like. As you can see, the base of my makeup is already done. So we're just going to start with priming our eyes. And for my primer, I will use Tarte in the shade Light Medium Sand. For a first look, this would be what I'm going to recreate, but of course, using Carla Cosmetics eyeshadows and maybe a bit of a twist from my end, or maybe not. For this look, I would need a base for it, and I'll be using this Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. I'm gonna use Sigma E32. That's a bit sharp there, of course. So maybe let's start off with outlining this. So I think what she did is she started off here um, in the socket, and then just make a straight line. Considering that her eyes were open when she did this, make sure to straighten it until here. Then what I'm gonna do is just blend it out. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges inside. Okay, so I think I need to put it more upwards. So I'll add in this. Yeah, so it hits the edge of my eyebrows. I'm gonna take a Zoeva 322 and clean my this one up. So using my Pat McGrath, yeah, this is the Pat McGrath 7. I'm not sure. I'm going to take this shade right here. Yeah, so I think that's it. And then I am just going to fill this in. To blend this. So if you notice, this looks straight when I'm looking at you, which is good. Okay, that's what we want to achieve. So now, using my swatch brush, I am going to use Snooze. Look at that. This is exactly what the eyeshadow looks like, from green to red. Come on. I'm gonna use this with a dry brush. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna go back again to what I used earlier. Okay, there's a bit of a fallout, as expected. If you don't want any fallout, just make sure that you tap so much of the product out. That, my friends, is amazing. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go back again to the bigger brush. Next, I'm gonna use Pillow Fight in the center. I'm gonna Ooh. use my Sigma E60 for this. Eddie. You know what? I don't mind the fallout for this. The colors are just so pretty. Okay, okay. Um gonna blend this out. Look 
that it's pink and now it's green. You see? Oh my god. It's pink and now it's green. It's pink and now it's green. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun. <laughs> uh. Using my Zoeva 230, I'm gonna use Pillow Fight again and I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner of my eye. These are all dry, by the way. That's dry. And it looks like that? Come on, it's not fair. Anyway, I really don't mind the fallouts because the colors are so pretty. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna put some mascara, fall season, get back to you. I also placed lipstick on, and now we're going to use Fenty Beauty uh, Sub Zero highlighter. Or maybe not. Um, okay, I'm gonna use Stone Cold instead. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna use Coppin Eyes here. Now, let's proceed to the other eye. And for the other eye, I'm going to recreate this look right here. So again, I need to prime my eyes with Tarte. So I'm still waiting on my black eyeshadow pen, so I'm just going to use my Longwear Gel Eyeliner, um, which is Bobbi Brown. So I'm gonna take my Sigma E32, apply it on the corner of my eye, and I'm also gonna apply with whatever was left in the inner corner of my eye, not in the socket, but almost in the inner corner. Next, I'm going to blend that out with my Zoeva 228. Using my Pat McGrath with this shade right here, I'm gonna apply it on the inner corner. Also use my Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. And then make like a windshield wiper motion. And then I'm gonna apply it here as well. Next, I'm going to extend it outwards. Using my Zoeva 231 and Linda Hallberg Void Shade, I'm going, oh, by the way, can we just appreciate Linda Hallberg's palette? This is also beautiful, by the way. And then I'm just going to apply it on the edges. Just tap and then blend, you know. You know the drill. If you've seen my video on five looks on beginner friendly eyeshadow, you'll see what I mean. Okay, just tap that. Now using the brush earlier, um, we're gonna blend this out. Using my ColourPop Blue Moon, I'll take my Zoeva 234 and use this shade right here, which is Clued In. And then I'm gonna blend it here on the outer corner. Just tap it. And then here as well. So using this brush, I'm gonna extend it a bit here. Slightly. Using the essential crease brush earlier, I'm gonna blend out the upper part. Using my squad brush, I'm going to use this shade right here, which is the Mad About You. And then I'm gonna apply it here as well. I'm just going to do something like this motion so that it blends out properly. So as you can see, I'm leaving out just a tiny bit in the center. And that center will be... Da -da -da -da. Okay, I am gonna use this shade, Insomnia, Parla Cosmetics. Using my swish brush, I am going to apply it in the middle. What? What? Oh my god. That is so pretty! Okay, so from the middle, I'm going to blend it out on the edges. 
it's going to be something like this. I'm going to put some of that insomnia in the inner corner of my eye. Using my Real Techniques brush, um, going back to Pat McGrath, I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm going to Linda Holberg Void and using my Zoeva 231. I am going to blend out here and line it up here in my lower waterline. Then using Insomnia, I'm going to put some in the middle lower waterline, just in the middle, so that these two matches. Okay, so next I'm just going to put on some eyeliner, mascara, and falsies and get back to you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply Sub-Zero. And there you have it. Now these are the two looks. Just like my other looks, you can see the details and the close-ups of these in my Instagram and the link is down in the description box below.